Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, guys, medyo iba to sa mga videos na ina-upload ko the past few days. Hindi pa tayo mag unboxing ngayon. So for today's video, gagawa po tayo ng comparison or quick comparison video. Very light comparison lang naman. Hindi tayo dun sa mga super deep tech videos na yung mga chips, ganyan. Wala tayong ganong factor. So, we will be comparing the Vivo V9 and then the Vivo V11. And then, sasagutin rin natin yung question if it's worth upgrading from Vivo V9 to Vivo V11. If you guys remember, just recently nag-upload ako ng unboxing ng Vivo V11. And then, di ba sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung father ko, ang gamit na phone is Vivo V9. So, kinuha ko ng hiram, hiram ko. I mean, hindi ko kinuha. Hiram ko yung phone ni father para ma para mabigyan ko na rin kayo ng konting review ng Vivo V9 since meron na rin akong konting idea sa phone na to. And then, comparison na to with the Vivo V11. So, if you are currently using the Vivo V9, masasagot natin yung question ngayon kung worth upgrading ba siya. And then, if you don't have the Vivo V9 or the Vivo V11, and then you're planning to buy either of the two um, baka pwede na rin kayong makakuha ng idea from this video. Hawa ko sa right hand ko guys is the Vivo V9 and then yung hawa ko sa left hand ko is yung Vivo V11. So the Vivo V9 is made of plastic and then itong Vivo V11 is made of glass. Sa display pa lang makita nyo agad yung difference nila. So yung sa Vivo V9 yung notch nya medyo mas malaki talaga halos kasing size nung sa iPhone 10 Pero mas malaki yung sa iPhone 10 Later, papakita ko sa inyo yung comparison ng size nila. And then, here naman sa Vivo V11, halos tudok lang yung notch niya. So, we can compare it doon sa Oppo F9. And then, yung tawag again ng Vivo dito sa notch nila is yung the Halo notch. So, ito naman yung notch nung iPhone 10 And then, ito yung notch nung Vivo V9. May kita nyo mas malaki ng konti yung sa iPhone 10. Although, mas maliit yung notch nito guys compared to the iPhone 10. Enough pa rin naman yung space niya for the sensor, the earpiece, and the front cam. Another difference nila sa physical appearance, yung fingerprint sensor ng Vivo V9 is nasa likod. And then, yung fingerprint sensor ng Vivo V11 is nasa harap. So, ito siya. And then, yung fingerprint nasa likod. So, ito na yung in-display fingerprint. Pero guys, parehas silang may Face ID. 16 megapixel and 5 megapixel. Vivo V11 guys, yung megapixel niya is 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel only. And then for the front camera naman guys, yung front camera ng Vivo V9 is 24 megapixel. And then yung front camera naman ng Vivo V11 is 25 megapixel. I will be showing na lang comparisons of the photos and the videos of the Vivo V9 and the Vivo V11 after this part of the video para rin makita nyo kung ano nga ba yung pinagkaiba nila. Now, yung size naman ng display nila guys, parehas lang. They both have the 6.3 inch display. This Vivo V9 naman guys is in 4GB RAM and this Vivo V11 is in 6GB RAM. Then for the charging naman guys, ito po ay hindi fast charging and then ito naman po ay fast charging. Battery naman guys, itong Vivo V9 has 3260mAh and then this Vivo V11 has 3400mAh. Again guys, sasabihin ko lang na may two ways tayo parehas sa phone kung paano i-unlock. Parehas silang may face ID and parehas din silang may fingerprint yung pinagkaiba lang talaga nila is in display fingerprint so medyo mas futuristic tong phone na to while this one nasa likod yung fingerprint niya so you can compare it to the Huawei Nova 3i and also sa Oppo. So, parehas mas silang pwedeng lagyan ng micro SD card. Also guys, parehas din silang dual SIM. Battery wise, definitely guys, nag-increase kahit pa paano itong Vivo V11 ng battery capacity. Konting-konti lang naman but at least 
may changes. The design naman guys, sa bandang baba, walang nagbago. Parehas pa rin silang micro USB port and then meron pa rin 3.5mm na audio port. So, walang nagbago guys. For the release date naman guys, itong Vivo V9, bago lang din. Na-release siya this year. So, April 2018 siya na-release. So, the Vivo V11 mas fresh siya. Na-release lang siya this December 2018. And we all know naman na successor itong V11 ng Vivo V9. So, yung pansin ko guys, usually pag successor, mabilis lang yung facing ng phone. So, halos 5 months or 7 months lang, eh, meron na agad na lalabas na successor. Now, if you will ask me if it is worth upgrading or if it is worth buying itong Vivo V11 or the Vivo V9. So, for example, you are currently using the Vivo V9 and then you want to upgrade to the Vivo V11. I suggest wag na kayo mag-upgrade. The only difference guys na napansin ko is yung in-display fingerprint. So medyo, kung hindi ka naman medyo techy or hindi ka naman ganun ka-fan ng mga bagong technology ngayon, I suggest wag na lang mag-upgrade kasi halos yun lang yung difference. Although sabihin na natin guys na may fast charger technology itong Vivo V11 at mas mataas ng konti yung capacity ng battery nito compared sa Vivo V9. Parang sa tingin ko wala pa rin masyadong difference yon. Ang tanging difference na nakikita ko lang na super laki at worth upgrading guys is yung Face ID Unlock. Para sa akin guys, top notch talaga yung Face ID Unlock nito kung i-compare ko sa lahat ng klase ng phone na na-review ko na. Guys, yung Face ID nito medyo mas mabagal ng konti compared to this. At although nag-increase ng 1 megapixel yung Vivo V11 compared to the Vivo V9, 1 megapixel lang yun best. Okay lang yun. <laughs> Hindi naman natin yung ikakaganda yung 1 megapixel na yun kasi halos parehas pa rin naman. Ito naman guys, another situation if you are torn from buying the Vivo V9 and the Vivo V11. For example, wala kang phone and then hindi mo alam kung anong bibili mo sa dalawa. I suggest to go for the Vivo V11. Yung Vivo V9, yung price niya guys, is 7,990. Pero, nag-price drop siya nitong August at naging 14,999 na lang siya. So, baka yung reason kung bakit nag-price drop siya is because yung paglabas nga nitong Vivo V11. And then, yung price naman ng Vivo V11, again, is 19,900. 99. Kung hindi nag-price drop itong Vivo V9 guys at ang presyo niya pa rin ngayon ay 18,000 and then ito is 20,000. Definitely kung bibili ka at mamimili ka either of the two, syempre dito ka na sa Vivo V11. At kahit nag-price drop pa to guys into 14,999 Kung 5,000 yung difference, I suggest go for the Vivo V11. Kasi guys, pag binili mo tong phone na to, sobrang futuristic nito. Parang sa tingin ko, matagal pang magkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng future yung Apple and Samsung. Again guys, uulitin ko lang, if you will be upgrading from this phone into this phone, I suggest wag na. If, pero if you will be buying a new phone and hindi ka makapag-decide between these two, I suggest you go for this.